to my channel. My name is Divya and today we're going to make some DIY stressed compact jeans. So if you still do not have a pair, I know these can be really expensive so why not take an old pair that you already have in your cupboard and transform it. I'm also going to show you the different patterns you can use for patching the jeans. And I know you can notice some changes in the background that's because my room was recently changed and I especially love these fairy lights and those little plants that I got from my table. So yeah, let's get on to the video and let's do this. So this is the jeans that I will be working on and the first and the most basic step is to mark where you want to distress it. So I'm making some longitudinal patches. I don't want them to be very wide. I just want them to be long. So these are the patches that I've drawn. I just used a chalk. Also this jeans was a little longer than I am. So I am also going to cut it and fray the bottoms. So take a patch and mark some horizontal lines and then fold the jeans and cut it. So you're going to take one section of this patch and start distressing it. So your distressing section should look something like this and then you're just gonna take a pair of tweezers or plucker and just patiently start pulling out the blue threads so underneath you will be left with some white threads and you want to pull out all the blue threads in that section so this can be daunting at first but once you get a knack of it it's really soothing and I just enjoy doing it also, I watched a movie while I was doing it. So you can also do something else along with it. So this is how the uh, distressed sections look like. And my jeans was a little stretchable. So yeah. Next, I'm going to fray the bottoms. I marked the length of how much I want it to be. And I'm cutting at three sections. Two at the stitches and one in the center. Now here the thing is going to be completely opposite. You will pull out the white threads and the blue ones are going to stay. So again just patiently start pulling out the white threads from this. So you can do it by hand or again you can take a pair of tweezers and go ahead. So I'm not going to say this was a very quick process but I finished watching Bahubali while I was doing it and don't hate me but I did watch it for the first time. So again just take your time and go with the flow. It's not a difficult process it's just a little slow. But the end results are beautiful and you can just distress it however you want. So your fray bottoms are going to look something like this when you're completely done with it. You can make it as long as you want, as short as you want. I did mine for just one centimeter. Now the different ways to patch your jeans. So you can just concentrate patches in one area. You can patch them in a straight line. You can patch only the upper half or just a single leg or on the sides. Or you can place random patches all over just like I am going to do with mine. So these are all the patches that I have. And these patches are sticky on one side. So when you provide some heat, it is going to stick to your jeans. So I wasn't sure how I wanted the patches to be. So I just started laying them down randomly. And then you're going to iron it and make sure your iron is not very hot but just sufficiently hot because it's going to be on the patch for a very long time. Also, I added the left out patches on the back pockets. I don't know, I just wanted to. You can. That's the thing about DIY. You can do whatever you want. So this is how it looked before, it was a very simple jeans and now, boom! I really hope you 
enjoyed watching this video and if you did you can hit the like button and when you're done hitting the like button you can subscribe to my channel i put on new videos every wednesdays and when you're done hitting the subscribe button you can also turn the post notifications on so that whenever i post a new video you're instantly notified and if you're still not satisfied you can leave down a comment whatever you thought about this video and i'll see you next wednesday until then take care and bye bye